everyone. Welcome back. I'm Lynette with the Laurel County Public Library and today we're going to talk pumpkin. But before we do, I wanted to share a few cookbooks with you again. Um, Leah let me borrow another one from the archives. If you've watched our previous videos, we shared one that had a, a copyright date of 1915. This one has a copyright date of 1903. But look at it. Isn't it just a sleek little design? This is the Good Housekeeping Everyday Cookbook. Just as before, Helena, I'll let you zoom in here. Just as before, this is probably one of the only pictures in there. They don't give um, listings of ingredients and things like that. They just say here, this is what you do. Like, you know, egg biscuit. Just sift your flour and keep going. I just thought it's really, really neat. Lots of good recipes in here, uh, but again, you have to really be a reader in order to follow them because that's just how they were. But I just thought that was really neat, and I'm scared to death I'm gonna mess that up, so I'm gonna put it out of the way because it's a very old cookbook. The, the, uh, I have two more I wanted to share with you. Um, this is Country Living, the farm chicks in the kitchen, and some of you may know about these ladies, uh, Terry and Serena. This is one of those cookbooks that on a um, rainy afternoon when you don't have anything to do, you could also just sit and read it because they have so many little neat stories about things that they've done. They uh, they do a lot of flea market flipping type stuff. They share that. It's just, it's a fun little cookbook. So I'm gonna enjoy spending time with that one. And this one, I chose this one because it was one of the few that I found at the library that actually paid attention to pumpkin and gave pumpkin its due and had some recipes for pumpkin. Um, it's a vegetable centered uh, cookbook, lots of good recipes, um, not a lot of pictures. Y'all well, y'all already know how I feel about pictures. So, but other than that, really good cookbook. So it's the Garden Fresh Vegetable Cookbook. So hope you'll check that out. So, with the changing of the seasons, we're getting into fall, and I bet you all are as excited about that. A lot of people like their pumpkin spice in the fall. Um, the What I think of when I think of pumpkin spice and the ginger and the nutmeg and all those kind of flavors that we use with fall baking is it just kind of invites us back into our home. Because, you know, we've all been outside in the summer. We've had those grill uh, activities and those kinds of things, and those smells of fall just say, come back inside, it's, it's okay. Well, this cookbook that I have that I'm going to cook out of today, <laughs> believe it or not, was a taste of home. I found this, I think, at a uh, checkout stand at some store, and it is the pumpkin cookbook. And when I saw that, I thought, I've got to have that because, you know, pumpkin doesn't get enough credit. But pumpkin is really good for us, uh, nutrition-wise. And so there's so many other things that you can do besides a pumpkin pie. There's everything in here from quiche, granola, pies and cakes and breads, of course, but all, lots of different things for pumpkin. So today, what we're going to make is pumpkin spice oatmeal. Now there was actually two variations of this. Um, the one that we're gonna do is in the crock pot. And then there was another one that you could do in the, um, the oven, like in a nine by 13 pan, both you have to allow extended time for cooking. This is gonna take like five to six hours in the crock pot. If we did the casserole style, you have to refrigerate it for about eight hours. So not something that you're gonna do quick. Um, but today we're gonna to have oatmeal for our evening meal. I thought that would be kind of neat. So oatmeal's good for us, pumpkin's good for us. We're gonna put it together. So the first thing is a can of pumpkin. I was reading an article um, in a, some baking magazine and they were saying that when you're baking that canned pumpkin is actually better for recipes than fresh pumpkin. So I don't know, I've never really used a whole lot of fresh pumpkin, but that was what the article said. Okay, so we're gonna take a whole can of the pumpkin and then one cup of oats. And now on this, you want to use the full size oats, the rolled oats, the still cut oats, overnight oats, different people call them different things. But you want this whole size because the, the quick cook oats just won't 
won't work as well. Okay, to that then we're gonna put three tablespoons of brown sugar. Can't go wrong there, right? And one and a half teaspoon of pumpkin spice. I'll make sure I get all of that out of there because that stuff's good. That's like gold this time of year. Everybody wants a little pumpkin spice. And we're gonna have one teaspoon of cinnamon, three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna put three cups of water. Don't wanna spill. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna put one and a half cups of 2% milk. Oh, that already, I can already smell that stuff. Good. Okay, so we're just gonna mix this up really well. Get those spices to mix in there. Probably should have gotten a whisk out, but this will work, I think. Now you're gonna use a small crock pot on this. This is a little three quart crock pot. Um, you always want to match the size of what you're fixing with whatever you're fixing it in. It's just gonna cook better that way. So this is a smaller quantity of stuff, so we need a smaller crock pot. Okay, this is about to get mixed. Can you imagine the smell of this? This would work really well if you have a crock pot that has a timer. You know, mix this up before you go to bed, um, have it on your timer, and then it'll start baking and have it ready first thing in the morning. That would, oh, you'd wake up to a wonderful smell. So my house will smell like this all afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna very easily, gently, gently, you don't wanna spill. good so we're gonna leave that here it's going to cook um, I think it said on low so I'm gonna turn it on low and about five or six hours from now we'll come back see what this looks like okay see you soon okay everyone this is going to be delicious so our oatmeal has cooked for about six hours in the crock pot on low it has gotten thick and rich it smells wonderful Here's a, a, zoom in on that, Elena. Mm -mm -mm. Now, the recipe says you can top it with nuts, a little bit of extra uh, brown sugar, maybe some cream, whatever you want. It It's not the sweetest on its own, but I personally liked it. I thought it was fine. But you know, if you have a little bit of a sweet tooth, you might want to add a little bit more to it. So give pumpkin a try. Don't make just pies out of it. Try something new and we'll see you back next time. See ya.